first half which saw a wonderful save by Kerry goalkeeper Brendan Keeley after 25 from Alan Brogan and Keanu Sullivan getting the way of a Kieran Donaghy would-be goal for Kerry in the 27th minute so just a point separating these teams at the break Join this football final all set to go for the second half let me hand you back to Joe Canning and Martin Carney Thanks, Michael. That's a capacity crowd, of course, at Croke Park. So one point between them, teams as they were, going off at half-time. One wide between them as well, Kerry 5, Dublin 6. Freeze awarded again, only one between them. Couldn't be tighter all the way along. So unchanged since uh, the half-time break. And now it is Dublin who are playing down towards Hill 16. Kerry with it all to do, you would feel. Donaghy hasn't come to midfield for the start of the second half. This time, they've gone with the conventional 8 and 9, and they're Mara Sheehan. So, down they get it as far as Alan Brogan. Brogan tormenting Killian Young, trying to make an angle for himself. It's a tight one, a little bit too tight on this occasion, and he has tugged it left of the post. Trying to make the best possible start to the second half. Pat Gilroy and his team out first. I'd say he was quietly pleased with the way things have gone so far. The game plan working for him. Definitely worked to perfection for him and his wing forwards in particular, the likes of Brian Cullen, Paul Flynn and Mosse Cahill, but putting in great defensive stints. Kerry winning their own kick out this time, but look how far back Tomas O'Shea is forced to go all the way back along. Mark O'Shea now. Again, Kerry build up in measured fashion out of defence here. Donica Walsh now. Tomal Soche. Looking for the first point of the second half. Sent it long towards Donald. Donaghy broke it down, but there's a, a Dublin player there waiting for it. Kevin Nolan. Helped out by Michael Dara McCauley. A little bit of work there for James McCarthy to do. His dad was a star when Dublin last beat Kerry in an All-Ireland final. 76, his dad John scored the first goal, was hauled down for the uh, second, which resulted in a penalty. Dublin trying to bridge a long, long gap in terms of victories over Kerry in a final. Chair Brennan now. On as far as Barry Cahill. Comes back in the end here as far as Declan O'Sullivan. Trying to get around Paul Flynn, holding the possession. Mar required. Long in towards Colin Cooper, and the Gooch trying to transfer it to Brian Sheehan. It broke down, but Simons got in. Clever defending. Now James McCarthy. Support players coming to help out. Look how far back Alan Brogan has come. Chair Brennan now. Oof, hefty challenge there. Aidan O'Mahony went in, but again it's recycled by Dublin. Bastic initially. Now his partner in midfield, McCauley. Out as far as Cullen, who slips, gets up quickly. Forward by Alan Brogan into the corner. McCauley made up a lot of ground. Now he's through. And he's hauled down outside the large rectangle. A player who got a goal in the league match back at the end of February. A kind of drop kick on that occasion. And he had the goal in his sights again here in this All-Ireland final. And Dublin resorting, Brian she or rather Kerry resorting to hauling him down. Brian Sheehan getting the yellow card for that. And rightly gets the yellow card for that. Brian Sheehan that time, a desperation tackle, it must be said. Macaulay showed great persistence in driving forward that time. Probably going to fist a point. May have been able to drive on further and gone for a goal, but cynical tackle by Sheehan gives an easy opportunity to, uh, to Bernard Brogan. Well, he just got him, Martin, that time about a, a metre outside the large rectangle. It'll be Bernard Brogan who will take it. Three points from the first half, two of them from Freeze. Three of uh, Dublin's six points have come from free kicks. And this one is straight up and over. Good start to the second half. This is what was happening again here. Look for Brian Sheehan after the other number nine. And look at the large rectangle just there in front of him. Got him just in time. Keeley kicking out into the centre of the park. 
Every man fighting for his own ball, but it's Dublin who win it. Cullen, Nolan, back here as far as James McCarthy, fleet-footed. Hand pass by Nolan again to Brian Cullen, needs a second go at it. Has a man outside in support, it's Bastic, where's the Kerry marking? Cowan coming after Bastic, Bastic withstands the challenge. Out to up, Bernard Brogan, back in here to Bastic. And Bastic has kicked it over. Good work by the Temple Oak Sing Street player. His third point of this year's championship. A lovely combined effort by Dublin. Intent all the way on ending up with a scoring position. And Dennis Bastic, the one who delivers. Yeah, it must be said, Dublin are way livelier, way fitter, seem way fitter, and around the middle of the field in particular, they win the second ball all the time. They're putting far greater pressure on and Kerry, and Kerry are finding it so hard to maneuver the ball forward. Tomas O'Shea kicked into space towards Donaghy. Rory, Rory O'Carroll just trying to stay back. Picked up here by Darren O'Sullivan. Brennan was near him, back to Donaghy again. Bear in mind... Oh! Dublin have had a very, very tough build-up to this championship, really, when you think about it. Kerry perceived to have had the easier run through as that ball is kicked under pressure and is kicked wide, and it's a sixth wide of the match by the Kingdom, kicked that time by Declan O'Sullivan. Once more, Declan O'Sullivan put under an awful lot of pressure that time as he was kicking the ball, but a number of the players in the Kerry team are on the middle of the park, and I'm talking about Maher, about Sheehan, about, uh, you know, Aitno Mahoney. They're too one pace at the moment. They don't seem to have the energy or that sharpness to get in and dispossess Dublin. Dublin seem to have all the, the, the energy and the verve around that area uh, right now. As Cluxton kicks out and Dublin tried to retain the possession, Picked it towards Cattle that time, but it's Donica Walsh who gets there for Kerry. Now Brian Sheens, a lot of this final still to be played. Aidan O'Mahony there forward. And again, it's the dashing Darren O'Sullivan trying to cause consternation back to help out. The defence was Dennis Bastic, and it's a bit of a mad helter skelter challenge for it. Brian Sheehan on his hands and knees over there. Fist thrown, Donaghy and Michael Darrow McCauley, two of the players involved. That time, definitely, I thought Darren O'Sullivan was fouled in the first place. That time, OK, as I think it was, was it Maher was trying to get down on the ball, or Brian Sheehan was trying to get down on the ball to pick it up, definitely there was a foul on him. You remember the semi-final, and Jack O'Connor was saying afterwards, we were glad of that tough match, second half he found it a tough game. The inference being that, by and large, they'd had a pretty OK run to the final, if you take into account the Munster final, which was a, a peculiar game in itself, in that Kerry went 35 minutes without scoring between the two halves. Here's Brian Sheehan, and he's measured it brilliantly to kick it over the bar. It's Kerry's first pointed free of this final, and it's come in the 43rd minute. Two between them, 1-3 to 8 points. Kerry win the kick out. Marr does well. Tomas O'Shea now. Kicking long towards Donaghy, route one, ball into Donaghy, and he fists it over the bar. Two in a row for Kerry, they're right back in it. He's pumped up. The 82,300 here are looking forward to what could be an absolutely gripping second half. Just watch that, I'm amazed that he didn't go for a goal that time. He had done the hard work, fielding it, got around his defender, maybe he took the percentages, took the simpler of the two options. I don't think he felt confident. Well, there was definitely a goal on that time. Cluxton kicking it out. Who's going to win it? Touchdown by Bastic, and Kerry win it. Declan O'Sullivan in there quickly, giving leadership. Brosnan on, Sheehan back to Brosnan and say, give it to me. Good run forward again, oh, that was Declan O'Sullivan. And out came Ger Brennan, I think it was Ger Brennan, who made the contact there, and he's got to be spoken to by the referee. And I'm sure he will say it wasn't intentional, referee. Well, that was a bad tackle, but in fairness, I think Declan O'Sullivan was falling, but Ger Brennan met him very dangerously that time. And Joe Brennan gets yellow for that. Three Dublin players now are on yellow cards. That was, a, that was a very hard tackle, it must be said. Just watch him, he gets him that time with the elbow. He's a lucky man that the colour of the card wasn't red. And there's got to be a temporary substitution required because Declan O'Sullivan, as a result of that, took a hefty knock. And there's blood from his nose. And it's uh, going to require a... 
temporary substitute, I think. That's what they're intimating. Physios John Sugru and Body McQuinn looking after Kerry this year. So there will be a, a quick, quick change, and it'll be Kieran O'Leary who will be back in. Yeah, one little statistic actually from the last couple of minutes that the last three Dublin kickouts, they've tried each one of them long and they've lost the three in a row actually. And that is what has given Kerry the little bit of the momentum to get those last couple of scores. Very unusual, Martin, this year that they would lose three in a row as that one is kicked brilliantly by Colin Cooper and it's up and over the bar. First pointed three for him. And as attention is being rendered to Declan O'Sullivan, the teams are level now for the third time. Kerry 1-5, Dublin 5 points, Dublin 8 points rather. And that's the reaction over there to that foul of their man Declan O'Sullivan. Meanwhile, Clapson under pressure, Donaghy, O'Leary was trying to close in, Donegal Walsh takes it, gets it back here to a better angle, Tomas O'Shea. Oh, it's going to drop to the left this time and it's a wasted opportunity. Ball swerving away from O'Shea's boot. There's going to be a, a Dublin change very shortly, and Philly McMahon is going to come in, and the player he will be replacing, I think, I think I may well be in the half back line. It's James McCarthy who's got to go. Yes, I noticed James McCarthy at half time came out with an advantage on his hamstring, so I think he probably picked up an injury during the first half. So there is confirmation of that change then. Billy McMahon coming in to play his 12th championship match and James McCarthy limping his way out of this final. He'll be disappointed but happy at the end of 70 minutes if his team prevails. Level right now. In the middle of the park. Again, it's Dublin who goes scrambling for it. This time winning it. Ger Brennan, the man who was yellow carded just moments ago there, into Barry Cahill. Three men around him, and the referee gives the free kick to Dublin. Dublin have scored two points in the second half so far, we're now 12 minutes into that. Yeah, I thought in, in a number of occasions there in the area of engagement that soft enough frees have been given to Dublin. Here's Philly McMahon, first touch for him. Inside towards Dermot Connolly being marked there by Tom O'Sullivan. And the referee, I think, decided the ball was handled on the ground and it's got to be a free kick, which Colin Cooper takes way back. The team captain, number 13, in as far as Darren O'Sullivan. This time, Donica Walsh. Kerry making headway. Teams level at 88 points apiece. And Kerry's Donica Walsh again trying to enhance their 1 5 scoreline. And the defence holding firm this time. Mcfitz Simon's going to get out. Philly McMahon out as far as Ger Brennan, rounding Donaghy. It's there to be won. Both teams looking likely. Who's got the greater resolve? Michael Darrell McCauley will have the free kick, which is going to be taken for Dublin by Barry Cahill. Laterally as far as Paul Flynn. Dublin trying to impose themselves again on this match. Down to the brilliant Bernard Brogan and Brogan chips it. Well, he's normally one of the most prolific scorers in the game, and that was so close. Oh, he won that ball superbly in front of Killian Young. Fair play to Gallup, and he got back at him, but I thought for a moment, even though he didn't hit the ball that sweetly, that it might have crept into the far corner. Tantalising, but not quite tantalising enough for Pat Gilroy. Still level, 1-5 to 8 points. Carry with possession. Killian Young advancing.